So let's chop down the real enemies of Factorio. All the trees. Oh, I need to get some grenades. So we can take care of this. Luckily, that is not too far into the future. Get some lab research speed as well done. So while all of that is going, uh, we should probably plan out the rest of this. Uh, a good way to do it is if we take... Uh, let's just take this part. I'll show you why. That will add into... That's going to be a four lanes of... Uh, Iron. Let's do the same over here. Make our four lanes of copper. It's going to be a four lanes of copper. We'll have to do some jumps here. That means that on either side of this we can hook up our stone brick production and we can hook up our steel production. Um, the way this is looking Maybe I should hook up both the steel and the stone brick production over here. I think that'll be the easiest way to manage it. So stone brick will give it... Let's see. Uh, two spots. That way we can have stone bricks and... Maybe even coal going this way if we don't just take it from the end of these. Coal going... We could also do the maximum range we can actually get it just to give ourselves enough room. So that way, that is going to go fine. <laughs> so that is going to be fine for that. Then we need to make one for steel as well. That'll be the next thing we hook up. And coal, I kind of just want to steal it from the end of these maybe. Could be a way to do it. Or just let it go this way from uh, from right here. That could also be a somewhat decent way to do it. All of this can get dismantled. It's not really needed anymore. Oh, is that oil? Ah, good. I have oil on the map as well. So let's hook up. Um, that's oh, not you, sorry. Let's hook up a bit of stone production. And uh, take these away. Let's get kind of steel this setup right here. Take you down here for stone. And you will grab all the stone just like that. These blueprints are so, so nice to use. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys. How old do you guys think I am? I know I asked this uh, in a lot of streams, but it's always uh, fun to see if people can guess. Look, Phil, you're one of the young guns for once. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. You are one of the young guns, always. <laughs> but... Uh, 29. Close. Close. I have to say that's quite close. I am, I guess, a 32 and a guess for 28. To be honest, I'm quite glad you're guessing, guessing that close to my age. I am 32 at the moment. But um, I've had, I don't know how to explain this, some kind of uh, weird, can you call it weird? Um. Funny thing with how I look compared to how old I am. When I was 18, finishing uh, pretty much high school in Denmark, I looked like I was 12. It was, <laughs> it, it was, it was pretty bad. Uh, you know how people are in that age, 16 to 18. I looked like I just got out of kindergarten or something like that. It was, <laughs> I was extremely skinny. I was short. I was, it was, it was, it was a mess. I remember one time we were uh, at the school library and all the fourth graders left. And then a few minutes later, one of the teachers went over to me and said, uh, why are you still here? All the classmates have already left. I was in the ninth grade at that point. And it was, uh, 
That was, uh, <laughs> that was, that was so bad. It traumatized me a bit, but uh, as I'm saying now, when I'm 80 and look 40, it's going to be good. That's also what I'm telling my girlfriend. So uh, that is kind of what I'm hoping will be the case. I'll stop you a bit. Because that is, of course, how age work. Age up this way. Let's go grab some gears. That is correct. At least most people, you can guess their age from how they act. Yeah, because some people can be quite old, but <laughs> react in some weird, weird ways. That's just uh, the way some people are. That is going good. Um, let's craft a few of you as well. I should get that mall up and running soon. It would make things a bit easier whilst going forward. So, here are stone bricks. Let's get you hooked up. Very easily. Let's get all of this hooked up this way. That all hooks up and gives this power. Good in theory, go grab some of this from the green signs. See, there we go. There we go. That is looking mighty fine. Oh, is that a bitonist? That is a bitonist. Is pollution touching them? It is very much touching them. That should mean we are in for a bite attack very soon. Should probably get some uh, some defense down. Just to uh, make sure nothing bad happens. Maybe also get ourselves some armor. I'm a shot machine gun and a bit of this. And since we're almost at the setting up of steel, um, that should also be something we should look at quite soon. There we are. So let's get all of you hooked up correctly with the coal. And get you done. There we are. Let's get coal flowing down this way to right here so that is looking somewhat decent also want to split this one off and go down this way since i know we'll need stone on the main bus going forward That is all of our stone bricks sorted. There we are. That is good. Next, what we need is pretty much to drag it up here and hook it into an area where we think it's going to be good. Um, the biggest reason between uh, 0 0.18 dot something is the addition of uh, 
of the Spidertron, a new vehicle that is remote controlled and can carry lasers, rocket launchers, construction robots, I think. A lot of different things. That is pretty much the main thing. But that's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, oh, we need to get defense. They are looking like they are ready to attack. Uh, let's set up a temporary um, ammo production right here. Don't like temporary things, but I think in this case it might be good just getting it uh, sorted. Then we should probably go and take care of them in just a little bit. Yeah, we should probably take care of them before uh, <laughs> before everything messes up. So now we have all of this going. We have the science going. We have stone. Brick. We should get stone as well. We should probably get a few grenades as well. To start to clear out the trees over here. That is pretty much the main reason I want to remove those. That, Matthew, uh, that would be insane if you can uh, blueprint them. <laughs> Just imagine that. I kind of hope you can. Oh, trigger attack by pollution? I'm guessing that means you guys are on the move. Oh, you are most definitely on the move. And you are probably going straight for my power. That is bad. I don't think I have that much ammo in the turrets down here. Lord, I should need to... Oh! Look how prepared I was. They all survived. Wow. Looked like I planned ahead accordingly to what we needed to do. Um, can we then... Let's give it a bit more and then we'll go and grab the ammo we have and then we'll go take care of the biter base. With a few turrets. I think that'll be... Uh most helpful so you can get that let's just repair you a bit there we are and we'll go up north <laughs> i would walk faster it is so slow oh is that creeper thing i didn't notice to add that added that Yeah. Let's see here. Let's go and take care of that little base. Let's get some iron as well. Just for the fun of it. Let's go and mess up the biters. So you have a small amount. Let's do our normal little defense here. The two just for now to keep it on top of it. Turrets. Okay, calm down. Two more right next to it. And uh, that should be enough to take care of that. Ooh. There we are. That was... That little bite's nest taken care of. Hopefully they don't expand out soon again. Otherwise, I will have to set up a perimeter. And luckily, that is uh, something that should be quite easy to do. At least I don't uh, expect it to be that big of a deal. So, ammo, you can just keep going. You'll go as well. Science is fine. slow but other than that uh, one two three so we have just five more 
So if we do this, get you away. You away, get a few more. Plus two grenades is enough to clear the trees. Are you welcome, James? Uh, yeah, Pandons is... Uh, <laughs> it can be extremely scary. But... Um, one of the things that uh, Factorio has taught me over the years, not just in terms of playing the game, but also in, uh, in life and stuff, is uh, to break things down into small enough pieces and make them modular, you can do whatever. It, it's... It's completely easy to do whatever you want then. Because modular things means that if something expands more than you think, it's modular. You can just expand your original base. And it's pretty much the same uh, philosophy I used in Pinalons. And actually using it in my jo day job as well. So very, very pleased with that uh, realization I got from playing Factorio. Let's see here. That is fine. Time to set up them all. I don't want to craft any more items by hand. That has been uh, something we've done long enough. So, if we do a normal mall, I'd like to have one, two, three, four items in on each side. That has been my go to blueprints. I'll wait to set up for a long, long time. There. One, two, three. There. One, two, three. And there. Then we'll have one running right here in the middle with different things. And soon you're about to see my uh, iron getting completely emptied out extremely fast. There, there, there. Because then these will be gear wheels. Gear, 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 gear. And this over here will be pipes. That way we have uh, the building blocks of a good mole. Then I would like to get it in here. I think we can jump from here to there. Fine, we'll do the same over here. Jump from there to there. Couldn't figure get it one further in, but I like having my chest in the middle. That's why I'm doing it like this. So, this way. Iron splits off. Please go this way. Then go in here. Oh, I should probably get the steel as well to get the, the correct power poles. That would make it a lot easier to manage all of these things. So what if I do... Just get the steel right away. Yeah, let's go and set up the steel. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes and uh, it will help us out a lot, us out a lot if we have it uh, up and running. steel for steel you can take an entire iron line in or you can just use uh, what's it called uh, iron ore I'll go with the iron ore solution so in theory well, it'll have to be a bit different than this because on the outside let's see we'll have to do that's just making we can always move it a bit I think I normally do something like this. And then we have iron flowing on the inside. We'll have, what's it called, iron ore out here. And then we'll do, let's do two for now, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Do one side and flip it. Yeah, Matthew, I tried it just for the fun of it. I haven't done it in pretty much two years, so I tried to do it. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep it uh, down the line. It was just uh, a spur of the moment kind of thing that I tried to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll probably not keep it as is. I use for that many things. The only reason why you should bust gears, if you think about it rationally, is that... Uh, down the line, it takes two iron lines to make one gear line. 
So in theory, if you pretty much turn the iron plate into gears, you'll save one line on the main bus. That is the rationale behind doing it, if you want to. But uh, other than that, there is uh, not much reason to. And right here, we'll do an underground to here to here. So this is pretty much the blueprint. This one will move this one iron over. This one will grab all pretty much both ways. And then we can add the power poles in between. And should we try to do it like this instead? Wait, we can move these. We can't move these. Let's try this. There and there instead. Because then we can have a nice, nice row. Um, mostly because the mall needs so many gears that uh, I'd rather use it for builds further down the line. That is uh, my main reasoning for it. If there's something that only requires gears but doesn't need uh, what's it called. It doesn't require that many gears at least. So don't have to make a factory that makes it. That should be coal coming in this way. You'll jump. Let's keep it of room. It's, it's fine doing it like this. That means we will have this one right here. Going that way. You'll continue over to the next one. So that is going to be the coal in. Then we need the iron. I'll just come in on the full belt. Why not? Blitzing both sides right here in the middle. And it's like your full iron that way. That means we have two full iron line lanes going in even. I don't want to keep this one going that way. Maybe make another one going for uh, what's it called. Steel. So we take you and place you down there. You two can pretty much go to the steel. Then we can always funnel you back. Oh, we can set it to funnel it back uh, as needed. Let's go grab some more gears. Because I haven't set up the mole yet. And as you see right now, that is one of the main reasons why as soon as you get these things done, you set up a mole. Otherwise, you will be in, uh, in serious trouble handcrafting a lot of the items you need. Which you, you shouldn't be doing. So, steel should be pretty much oh, close to done at least as soon as we hook up the last few things down here. You can go this way and turn over here and go to that one. That should be steel being produced. It is a one to one from uh, smelting the iron we need. If you look at the crafting speed for all you new guys, 3.2 seconds to make one, 16 seconds minus five and that is exactly a 5 to 1 ratio, so the crafting speed is uh, is a 1 to 1 between uh, steel plates and steel. That should be fine, that should give us steel. There we are. You can just output as much as you want into the system. It means over here We'll have out, out. We'll have steel flowing this way. To be honest, if I just grab the steel we're producing here right now, I will be able to make the medium electric poles that I want to get for um, for my mole. Let's do this. We'll take this part, flip it over here. Shift U to go the other way. Shift U to go the other way. 
there we have a nice, if not a bit large, steel build, but it works. And it's a simple way to build this. They don't have to uh, think about too much. And in case you want something further down, we'll do this. So that is uh, looking mighty fine. That is steel flowing out both sides. Let's just expand it down. Should be modular to do this. And that should be enough steel for a little while. And look how good it looks. And that is why I made it modular, so you can do things like this. I hope nobody's keeping count about how many times I say modular. I think, was it Kobe that said that at the start of the stream? That uh, would we'll be saying that a lot. And that is, uh, that is true. I do love that word, uh, word even. One of my favorite factorial words. Any words. Be honest. Yeah, and there we go. So that is looking about as well as it can. That is uh, that is bloody brilliant. Look at that thing. So power-wise, let's just hook you up right here. There we are. That is pretty much a bit more of our setup up and running. And let's hook up the rest over here. Two, four, six, eight. Eight, ten. That should be enough. Um, we need a few more of you. But power wise, we should have all the poles we need. These are actually not. Ne oh, they are needed for it to reach. Let's just do this. There we are. And that one. And oh, I'm missing one pretty much. <laughs> and then the long heads. And the undergrounds. Look at that. Oh, we'll only play some ghosts. I actually didn't... Chris actually didn't know that. Let's, let's just test that out. Oh, that was too many ghosts. Let's see if we, if we can reach. I thought it was only if it was max distance. Let's try this out. Oh! Oh! Thank you for that. I learned something new today. That is, uh, thank you for that, Chris. That was uh, a very nice information. And I think other people will very much enjoy that. Let's just test it out right here. Oh, look at that. That is very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So next things we need, we could get better furnaces. Uh, I don't know if it works with everything. I, def I think it only works with power poles. I don't think we can do it in surfaces, for example. that will just place it wherever, I think. But we can. Let's give it a try. So if we do it here. Nope. It only works on power poles. So it doesn't work on in surfaces, for example, or uh, furnaces. That's all the steel we need in the world. Let's drag it up this way.
get hit with some poles. 